Hello everybody and welcome to the channel and welcome to the first new episode of the new A to Z series here on the channel on Novum Vexillum. Now you may be asking yourself, Novum Vexillum? What's that? Well shut up Timmy, sit down, I'm about to tell you. So Novum Vexillum essentially is a mod that adopted the classical Manelium Dawn mod, right? And as it was a kid, it educated it, it gave it a home, you know, it taught it how to dress, sent it to university, and then sent it out into the world to be played by, played by us, okay? Um, with the, essentially, a new twist on it. So, it's the classical Millennium Dawn, but with a twist. Now, starting off with our A to Z, our first nation of choice, and our first nation to start off with, is going to be the nation of Albania. Now... But what about Afghanistan? Shut up! I'm about to tell you why we're not starting with Afghanistan. I'm sorry, I'm so violent. <laughs> so obviously the modern day mod starts in the year 2000, okay? And being A to Z, we have to start at A and work our way down to Z, right? But the reason why I'm putting out this part here is because I will not be doing any nations that are not recognized as union or not recognized as official states by the UN, okay, as of the year 2000. So, starting off in the year 2000, Afghanistan was actually listed as a partially recognized state. It wasn't a fully recognized state by NATO, and I believe there was a few others as well. I think Palestine also comes under that status. So, those nations will not be in this A to Z, okay? We're going to do the fully recognized states, and then maybe at the end of it, if you guys still want some bonus episodes on Voxum, then maybe we could throw in the unrecognized or partially recognized states in there. Let me know in the comments down below. But without further ado, let's get stuck into it. Okie dokie, so starting off, first things first, is we need to build ourselves a bit of an industry, because Albania isn't exactly a booming economy in the year 2000. That is priority numero uno, and we need to try and build and develop ourselves as soon as possible before these guys start to join the EU and the UN, uh, or sorry, and NATO. We need to try and get through this as soon as possible. The mod does add in a few things, like obviously we've got here a new thing here, uh, we've got recycling as well. Um, it, again, it adds in a few things, but we need to need to try and make the most of it with what we can another thing as well that it adds in here is um you can change the names to be so simple so rather than being like the republic of albania it would be albania um so on so forth i've also enacted division limits so that we're not you know going for 500 divisions per nation so that the game just breaks and destroys itself um, and at the beginning, because I've also got a sub mod enacted, um, it tells you, do you want chaos mode to be enabled? And you know what? I decided to go no. I want calm and normality for my first time. We'll have to see how the rest of it goes. But for now, little Albania needs to expand her industry. And hopefully Tirane is going to be the leader of the region. So, talking about things that are new in this new mod, what do they bring to classical Millennium Dawn? That's something you might be asking, so I'm going to quickly, quickly, quickly give you a little bit of a show. Not only does it obviously add to the research in certain ways, but uh, if you go over to decisions, it gives you a few options. It's tried to implement the economy system, right, from the modern Millennium Dawn. Whilst remaining the characteristics of the classical. You've obviously got your, your taxes, your, your, your economy, all this type of stuff, right? But you can also move at your own pace. You can also move freely, which is, you know, fantastic. Uh, you also have these here, which can boost your infrastructure and so on. You can only choose two policies out of all of these. Um, and they can, you know, help you uh, alongside the means of declaring war and all of that fun stuff. Um, and also, the mod is not limited to crazy stuff not happening. Like this. We're not even in 2001 yet. Yet the Persian Empire has risen. Th th this, this is happening. Right now. <laughs> you know, just like the ancient people of the East. Okay, many, many moons ago. I have looked to the stars and I have discerned one thing. This playthrough is going to be anything but normal. <laughs> like, we've got Persia just turned into Iran led by Ali. But then we also have Islamic Republic led by Ali against South Azerbaijan who are losing or sorry who are beating the Islamic Republic of Iran. And we've also got Kurdistan. But then also America, the US. We might have a, a friendly looking Mr. Clinton. But um um uh, okay, the Lithuanians have collapsed now and over here, political revolution. So they're either gonna go America first, endorse the white nationalist, establish a monarchy party, or go red. 
This run is not going to be normal. Oh, yeah, that's another thing as well. I completely forgot to mention. Um, there's no Putin. Um, we, we now have Yavlinsky. They, they've gone democratic. They've gone, like, blue. They have got. They haven't gone revo revolutionary. They've gone blue. Where is he? Yavlinsky, Yavlinsky. Is this him? Yavlinsky. There we go. He could deal with Putin. Yeah, he's like, he's trying to integrate the EU. Yo, can you imagine that? European Union, but unified under Moscow. Albania, we need to get to work. You know, I did say it was in the stars that things weren't going to be normal, didn't I? <laughs> so we have the Monarchist League of America. Poland has decided it wants to go anarchist. And then we've got Japan over here going for a radical reform that are going to shake up and disrupt the democracy. What is going on? I don't understand. Chaos is turned off. It shouldn't. It should be normal. Why aren't you normal? Just be normal. What is this tree? It's just anarchy. The whole thing is just anarchy. It just wants to set the world on fire. Why is this part of the Polish tri tree? I'm so confused. I, it's literally just called free territory. It's literally just free real estate. What's going on? Yeah. More weird stuff's happening. North Korea's having a civil war. There are now three Koreas. There is that Korea, this Korea, that Korea. Dude, there's too many Koreas. I can't. I just want to switch my brain off now. I can't handle it. Okay, so after coming around and waiting for three whole years, it's time to hold a snap election and hopefully have a change in government. I'm hoping to change to nationalist because it's the only way to fix this world because it's become an absolute mess, right? We've got the American Empire led by... James. <laughs> we got the Kingdom of Iraq and Kingdom of Afghanistan, who are puppets to the Americans. Then we've got Japan, who's just gone full-on nationalist. They're in alliance with Taiwan, who they've also puppeted, and Russia. Then on top of that, South Korea went anarchist, thanks to this weird Russian dude named Vlad. You know, we had the Korean Civil War end up winning with the Liberals. Uh, Thailand was trying to eat Myanmar, but they failed, so now Myanmar's eating them. And, um, because the Americans went, uh, went monarchist, NATO doesn't exist anymore. The CSTO does. The, 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 I don't even want to pronounce that, Daitoa Kyokin. I probably butchered that completely. And then, obviously, the remains of NATO all exist, but the world's falling apart. And it's Albania's duty to fix it. And we are about to turn into a nationalist nation. So it's about time we stop our training and start prepping for Serbia. You know, you got to colour me a little bit confused here. Because we are very much the leading party. We have the highest amount of public support as the nationalist party. I went through to my economy tab, or sorry, my political tab. I enacted the snap election and it did nothing. It just said, yeah, sure, we'll do that. And nothing's changed. I've waited until like the end of October and still nothing has changed. And according to this, it wants me to wait until 2005 for the next election. I'm not about that. I'm going to play around, see if I can't do anything here. Presidential Republic. No, that's not going to do anything for us. Um, I can use my political power to change the system now, apparently. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give that a go and change it to autocracy um, with the 300 political power. And maybe by doing that, we can uh, adopt our new national identity. You know, I'm still waiting here to turn nationalist because evidently functions don't work and I need to wait until this thing hits 50. In the meantime, Russia just declared war on Luxembourg. I don't know why. I don't know what Luxembourg did, but the whole of Russia is at war with the whole of Western Europe over Luxembourg, even though it's listed as the Russian-German war. I'm so confused. Okie dokie, and it's finally time. It's time to dig our teeth into Serbia. Let's send the troops in. I'm also going to make sure to get my motorized division, and they're the one who's going to go straight through Kosovo all the way up to Belgrade and hopefully just absolutely rush them. I'm going to leave the troops to do the rest. Hopefully they're strong enough and, and they've got enough oomph to them. But that motorized division is running absolutely rapid. I feel like I've got them. Yeah, I feel like I've got them. As long as the organ that can survive long enough, I think Belgrade's going to go. And after a bit of a tedious campaign and a good ton of uh, micromanagement, it's time to finish Serbia. So what I'm going to do, pass, 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 take Montenegro, take Kosovo, 
Teak Sumadia and Sim. And then end turn. As for the rest of it, we're going to puppet it. And now it is time to create something wonderful. Now it is time to create the goal of fixing this world. I'll see you in a minute when we've got all of this sorted. So, um, brief update. Not only did we get dragged into this whole situation with Hungary that I'm barely hanging on to a Fred by, um, I just want to focus on this here for a minute. Let's, let's just, just let it sink in. Just, uh, just let it, let it sink in because I still can't. <laughs> Okay, so um, tell me everything's a mess without telling me everything is a mess. <laughs> I don't know what happened, bro. Like, we was halfway fighting in Hungary, and all of a sudden, we got Bosnia and Croatia who started a fight. We managed to puppet them. We finished Hungary. Then all of a sudden, Russia declared on me. I got invited to the EU. Or not the EU, sorry. The, the um, NATO. There we go. Well, NATO, not NATO. What even is the name of this faction? The Asian Entente. Yeah. I, I don't know what's happening. I, I don't know what's happening. Everything is a mess. Everything's on fire. I'm sending my troops to France. Well, not France. French Russia to try and deal with this. The French, the Russians are nuking and declaring on everyone. Right. Okay. We finally have Albanian troops in Russia. Uh, yeah, Sweden's already joined. I know it's a mess. Um, the Chinese are doing amazing. They managed to push the Indians back. They're pushing into India. They are losing up here in Manchuria, but they are fighting the Russians and the Japanese. Just to have a look at how much of a mess this situation is we are against all of these nations and i'm gonna have to force a cap on india russia and japan and that's not even the only war i'm also against turkey i can't be bothered i'll tell you what though this would be so much easier if i had tanks if i had a tank core dude i'd be living it up right now although i tell you what though I, it might come easy because i've just enacted our attack order and the second i'd done that the, uh, the French Artillery Brigade have decided to get stuck in. I'm hoping it's going to be a collaborative effort. I'm hoping I'm not the only one doing legwork. And I'm hoping they can cap without me having to get Vladivostok. Oh, and Tokyo just got bombed for the third time. Nice. <laughs> now, I'm not expecting them to cap by any means, but it seems the Albanian foot soldiers have managed to do something amazing. It was the Albanian infantry. Okay, the Albanian, let that sink in, the Albanian infantry that were the ones to conquer Moscow. They are now setting their sights over here to Kazan. I also want to go down here because in the peace deal, I want this oil. I want oils and factories because we are going to build the mighty Albanian tank corps. And oh my god, do people need to fear the Albanians. We are setting a mission and that mission is Albanian greatness. <laughs> I don't know how, but I've just discovered something amazing about this, okay? So, my navy. I was going to send my navy up to here, okay? In in Petsamo, so I can do some convoy raiding off the coast of Russia, so I can get some naval bonuses and hopefully level up my navy, right? Now, the normal road would be to go around here and then around Norway. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Albania have brought you generational, no, nay, century... A century, I don't even know the right term for this, a centenarian level of technology. Um, we're somehow going to get the Navy. Bearing in mind it consists of, what, destroy it, Corvettes, big ships. We're going to go to St. Petersburg and then we're going to fly, right? Apparently, there is a white sea, white, uh, like a, a canal. Apparently, there is a canal that goes from St. Petersburg all the way through. I don't know how factual that is, but to me, this is madness. I am taking my boats and I am walking through Finland. I don't know. Is this a thing? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I just <laughs> what is this? This is crazy. Right, so after doing all the legwork, it seems my allies have finally decided to learn what the attack button is. The Greeks are doing the pushing whilst the French are just filling in the gaps. China's on the verge of, I don't know, being in danger because the Japanese are pushing in the north. And the Taiwanese are, are, are doing naval invasions here in the south with the Japanese as well. Which is very, very interesting. I don't know what's going to happen. China is doing their best to hold on. They've managed to push into India, but I don't know how much that's going to last. Um, I need to kind of pick up the pace. I have 9% war participation. 64k losses. I need to uppity up my contribution right now. 
I need to get I need to get working. I need to get this done. Otherwise, we're gonna lose China and this is gonna become a mess. Right, oh, okay. Finally managed to clean up the south here. I managed to control it as well. I should be getting fuel, but I'm not. Although that is looking very positive. No, it's not. That's a lie. <laughs> I do own the territory in the sense of I'm occupying it, but I don't own it, own it. So I, I imagine that's why I'm not getting fuel. Oh, it's such a trek. How long's my focus? Oh, so long. <laughs> right, let's go clean up. I need to get more, more participation. We're currently sitting at 10%. The French got 16. If I can get like to 18, I can justify taking a good chunk of land. Even though I've done most of the work anyway. I still need to prove myself in a peace treaty. And once again, Albania is going to capture a, a, a capital of Russia. We're about to walk in and take Kazan. We're about to go in and take, what's this? Chebo, Chebo, whoa, 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 whoa. Chebo, Chebo what? We're about to take Cheb, Chebo, sorry. I tell you, I'm terrible with names. I'm absolutely atrocious with names. Right, so it's only taken me forever to get it done. But, 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 Russia... Is finally less than 20. I have managed to do it. The Albanians nation have managed to do this. I was going for a simple run. You know, a nice easy run. Of of just, you know, balkanization. Maybe have like a, a, a Bal Balkan union going on. But, um, no. And like Germany? You cheeky sod. What made you think you deserve all this? Okay, Doki, and now that's Russia done. It's, I think it's time to head down to India, wrap up India. Hopefully we can push through. I don't know how I'm going to cope with the Japanese divisions. Indian should be fine, because we have been dealing with them. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. In other news, I found out why, uh, why, why Elder Scrolls 6 isn't coming out. It's because Todd Howard leading a nationalist rebellion in Azerbaijan. Who would have thought? <laughs> You know, I really don't understand how we haven't got more contribution in this than we than, than anything else. Like, look, we've got 16%. Now, we're more than everyone else apart from China because, obviously, they're the main players. But um, I've just single-handedly taken down India with my lovely, lovely, lovely little air force over here. Um, we've managed to take down India. I, I, I don't know why I'm not being given my contribution points. I want my contribution point. And another one bites the dust. Awesome. That's them done. We've managed to get India capitulated. Now I just need to focus on Japan. And we can finally bring an end to this bloody war. It has gone on for far too long. Now, although the peace treaty has concluded, some might call it cursed. I call it blast. Um, Russia's a puppet. Japan's a puppet. I use a puppet. China is China. Chad is China. Things are a bit messy, but don't worry. I'm about to paint a pretty picture. Uh, let me use my new land. Let me build some factories, and I'm about to fix this picture. We are about to. Uh, we are about to create the Albanian dream. Just you wait, dearie me. I only wanted to paint the world a little bit, and things have just got a bit out of hand. I just want some peace. Okie dokie, and finally, absolutely finally, it all came to a close. We're still stuck in our very, very strange uh, faction made up of literally everyone and everything, but little Albania completed its little paradise. We end up forming the Albanian state, our lovely nationalist paradise. We've secured certain areas. A Kurdish state is also ours. We've got tons of puppets, and we've created this blessed place. We've got the Welsh state, you know, we've got the Basques, we've got the Croats, we've got the state of Brittany. There's literally everyone and everything is in this party, and I am so down with that. <laughs> um, but that's going to be it for this first episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to, of course, drop the like button and leave a comment down below. Do you want to see more of this? I'm using this A to Z as a little test run, and obviously before we jump into the next nation, let me know your thoughts. If you dig this, give me a thumbs up with the like button. Let me know in the comment section, and I'll see you in the next one. Ta-da!